With less than a year left for the Census 2020 exercise, there is an urgent need for more funding to support the work of NSO. The head of NSO says cost of goods and services has increased and appropriate funding is needed. Mr. Igitoy says the exercise requires about 200 million kina. So various uh, local level governments in the country are having workshops uh, to acquaint themselves with the kind of work that we want them to do on the census operations. NSOS passed the planning stage and is now into its second phase of preparation. Part of that is to conduct consultation with provincial governments and districts. Mr. Igitoy says this will see the training of district coordinators and what they will be doing alongside NSO offices during the numeration count. Because we will be using two types. One is paper assisted personal interview in the areas where mobile phones or in the areas where we are not going to use the estimate using the uh, tablets, we are going to use the paper assisted personal interviews and also the other one is what you call the computer assisted personal interviews which will uh, require uh, those uh, questionnaires into the tablets to enter those information. The national government has not released any funding, however the head of NSO believes the required funding will be made available. Igitoy says the Census 2020 exercise will provide accurate data to the government and other stakeholders. Budgeting for about 2 million kina, 200 million kina, and it's just an increase of about 40, kina, 40 million kina. So when you look at the per capita expenditure, uh, we are going to enumerate approximately based on the population growth, the annual population growth rate of 3.3, it's going to be about 9 to 10 million people. So the per capita expenditure is about 18, 18 kina. And when you look at the nominal uh, cost of goods and services and the real cost of goods and services, where are we going to handle? So that is the kind of things that we are talking about when we are asking for funding and assistance. Currently, NSO officers are visiting provinces for consultation and training purposes. Jack Lopave, Jr., National MTV News.